Hey, what up y'all? Tectone here and welcome back to another Alune video where today we will be covering the who, what, where, when, and why of the Affinity System. Now, the Affinity System is something that I've been aware of for a very long time. However, I did not realize how groundbreaking it could be for people who still have cracks to fill from maybe some aspect of the reroll that went a little bit unsuccessful. So it's something that is underneath a lot of players' noses, but I didn't quite notice how great it could be at its full potential. So we're going to talk about how to do it, why to do it, yada, yada, yada. But the big thing is, is how to min-max it. Now, I want to say beforehand, min-maxing is not necessary. I'm going to show how to do it the casual way, and then I'm going to show how to do it the super, super, super hardcore way, the way that I'm going to do it because I go way too hard in these video games, but I don't want any of y'all to burn out. So, hey, if you don't want to do the hardcore way, do not worry. That time can be made up very easily, but it's just to give those hardcore players a little bit of an edge. We're putting in more time into their games, and once again, I highly recommend people who are free to play to definitely take every advantage they can, but if you don't want to, hey, it's a game. You're supposed to have fun. Before we get into all that good stuff, I want to let y'all know how thankful I am to all y'all for all the recent support on my YouTube and Twitch. Holy shit, I had my biggest Twitch stream of all time, and YouTube, hey, it's doing pretty good. I just want to let y'all know how thankful I am for myself and my wife. Thank y'all so much. Y'all are making my days way easier. I appreciate y'all so, so, so much. So, with that out of the way, once again, thank you so much. Let's get right into it. Okay, so Affinity System, where is it, Tecton? So you're going to go into Adventure Mode, and a lot of people who are still playing on Normal Mode have not noticed it because it's not there. This is actually a hard-only option. So you're going to look in the bottom left corner, and you're going to notice a bunch of characters. But we're actually going to go to the Stage 1 map because that's where the most players can get there as quickly as possible. We're going to swap over to Hard. It's going to pop up in the bottom left corner, and you're going to notice a bunch of characters. Now, what is the Affinity System? So... The game gives you dailies that you can do. There's going to be three on each map for each section, only on hard. Once again, there's going to be three dailies every single day on each one of the maps. And there's going to be five characters to do them for, and those characters are chosen at random. However, there is also another option to get affinity, which is to send the characters gifts every single... Well, it's well. this is an infinite system thing that you can actually really, really, really grind out if you want to. So... The affinity system is essentially a system where you raise your affinity, which means like how much you know somebody, how close you are to someone, and you level it up as high as possible by giving them little treats. Now, once again, do not use any of these treats on a character until you've finished all the characters that have units or um, the ability to give them the item with a favor on it. You'll notice it right over here. I'm going to give Kai these tree fruits. I'm going to give them seven of them, and they have favor. Now, favor, if you notice, so when I give him one fruit, it will give him 12 affinity points, as you can see right here. But if I give him one herb, it only gives him 10. So you really want to make sure to use the favor on only the targets that require favor. So there's going to be two uh, with the same favor, and then there's going to be one completely by himself. So... I'm using the tree fruit on Kai. We're going to use it. We're going to gain 84 favor, and that's going to increase my uh, affinity rank right there, which is going to give me level 14, which is... And y'all who are new to this are going to flip out. Yeah, 80 Alune Seeds. These things, oh, they're in such high demand at the very, very, very early game. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to make a guide saying how to not worry about these whatsoever and what you should be doing with your gems. So look forward to that video tomorrow or even later today. So we got to level 14. And now Kai and I are closer than ever, but why are we doing this besides all these goodies? Well, if you go all the way to the bottom, and if you max him out, by the way, this is one day of affinity, okay? I've already got him to level 14 in one day's worth of grinding for affinity. You actually can get Kai as a three-star... You can get Kai as a three-star epic hero for the very, very, very final reward, which is actually incredibly huge, because... As great as being able to reroll for two legendaries is, those are going to fall off and you need to have other units to fill the cracks. Now, Stella is great because you get her no matter what. If you don't know who Stella is, you probably already have her. Go check your inbox. If not, keep progressing. You get her for free. But there is a lot of units here that you can really fill the cracks with for the affinity system. So the units that I want to talk about, the why to do it is you have Kai and Owen from stage one. Okay. From stage two, you have Chloe, and then on stage three, I believe you have one more, and her name is, oh, I had it written down here, her name is Yu. Now, I already have her. I was on the fence about her until I actually tried her, and no, she's an absolutely, absolutely, absolutely fantastic healer unit in this game. So, 
I have experience using all of these units except for Owen, and oh my god, does my team need a tank. Desperately bad. I have I have the DPS check, I had the debuffer, I had the support, I have the healer. We're all good to go, but I don't have a tank, so you can bet your ass I am grinding stage one as hard as possible, just praying that I can get an Owen faster than normal because oh my god, does my character need it. So once again, Kai. If you need a single target damage dealer, you can farm Kai. He's absolutely incredible. If you need a tank, you can farm Owen. He shines more as a solo tank. That's how strong he is. He gets a ton of bonuses for getting uh, for being a solo tank. So definitely can farm those two from the stage one if you need a single target damage dealer or a tank. Now, if you move on to stage three, if you need a debuffer, you can farm Chloe right here, okay? And then if you need a healer, you can farm Yoon. So those are the four unit recommendations that I recommend. Why am I not saying to get a support? Once again, everybody's going to have Stella. You don't need to farm another support. She is really good. She's really good, okay? I can make a video about why she's ridiculous, but trust me. Holy shit, Stella's amazing. So, if you can notice here on the screen, we're on stage mount sky okay and if you notice right here where my mouse is hovering over it says quest zero out of 12 and over on the far right we have quest zero out of 72. now the reason why they're not on the first stage is because i've already done all of my dailies on the first stage so we're going to go right here and you notice right here zero out of 36 on two six and zero out of 36 on two eight now i guess sometimes you can only get two affinity quests but i've gotten three as well so i guess smallest is two biggest is three or hey maybe you can get none who knows but for now i'm going to assume it's two to three if i'm wrong feel free to leave a comment all right, so you're going to go right here, and it says 0 out of 36. You go right here, go to repeat battle, and you're going to start it up. So what you're going to essentially do is you're going to repeat it as long as possible, and then once your quest is done, it will actually stop your auto feature, and then you'll be able to go back and turn your quest and get a pretty... It's an okay increase in affinity, but you'll also get bonus goodies, which is really, really great. So this is the reason why I'm saying it's not totally super duper important to do but if you want some extra goodies and if you just want a place to level up your units anyways it's a pretty good place to go and farm so i'm not going to sit here and do the entire times 36 so we're going to skip off right after this one's done so we wrapped it up right here we confirm it we leave and we go check our progress and we should have three out of 36 okay i thought we got one shit we got three dope even faster than i thought so you're gonna go that you're gonna keep doing that until you finish up you'll turn it in you'll get a little boost you get some bonus goodies now why do i like this system so much there is too many gotchas where when you play it it just throws all these characters at you and you have no idea what what the hell they even are what they're about all that jazz this actually gives the player the opportunity to actually really learn about what the characters are by getting to know their lore and all that jazz and i believe that lore is very 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 important to establish especially if you're trying to establish a brand or an ip like a loon and this ip for this game is very 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 good now once again i'm going to go back and read this because i actually give a crazy shit about lore because i love it but yeah it's really really fun it's really really nice and once again having the motivation to log in every single day and do this extra dailies it's a really good way to get players to log in even more now i know i did recommend four units for the players to farm however it is very important to eventually work on all of these units and unlock all of them um i guess whenever you can because the thing is You'll get them at 3 star level 1, but they are still epics, which means even the units that you don't want to use, even the units that are bad, you can use them in the fusion system, which I'm sure, I hope you all are aware of by now, if not, I can make a guide about that, where you can take the units, give them to max level, fuse them together, I am not getting rid of these two, you can take them, get a 3 star max level epic, fuse them together, get a 4 star epic, or even a 4 star uh, legendary, I think, because I know you can go upgrading uh, quality, but I don't know if they can drop that, maybe they can, but uh, the most important thing is, you're still going to four star epic which is extremely 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 important even on dead units so yeah farming all these is definitely it's it's good it's good i mean once you get the four units that you want it's not going to end there make sure to get everything and then you'll be good to go hey that's going to do it for this one y'all i hope y'all enjoyed if you did make sure to leave me a like and a comment and to subscribe if you're new here if you didn't enjoy it go ahead and leave me a comment saying i wasted 10 minutes of my life i should have been watching pewdiepie's minecraft series with jack black anywho yo this affinity system is great i'm loving a loon Every single second that I play this game, I find something new that I love about this game. There's too 
much goddamn content in this game, but in a really good way. So if there's something that you want me to cover in content-wise, make sure to leave me a comment saying exactly what you want me to cover, and I'll do my best to bring that to y'all as quickly as possible, especially by the amount of comments saying the same thing. So I've been Tech Tone. Y'all been great. See y'all tomorrow.